Welcome back. Well, in the wake of Hurricane Florence, officials are working to prepare residents for potential emergency situations. Leon Isley spoke with Randolph County officials regarding emergency preparedness training. Randolph County 911 OEM officials are working with community members and businesses throughout the area to best prepare them for disasters within the county. Mountaineer Gas Company employees worked with 911 OEM director Cindy Hart to learn more about what steps to take in the event of a major disaster. I want to make sure that everybody feels prepared and empowered to be able to take care of themselves. It doesn't tax the system, one, but two, it makes them be safe. Mountaineer gas employees are needed during disaster events and preparing them could help put their minds at ease. It's hard to do your job if you're not prepared at home and your, your focus is as one home and you're worried about your family. So make sure you take care of your family, then you can be able to focus on your job to help other people. Officials say many times families are not prepared to deal with being out of water, gas, and electricity and need to be prepared to stay in the home until emergency services can arrive. Most households are not prepared. Uh, they may have the items, but they're scattered throughout the house, and this just organizes and gives them a list of things that they should have in their kit. Participants were given information about what to keep in an emergency 72-hour kit, how to best prepare for household animal needs, and how to alert authorities in case of a severe emergency. We work on the whole hazard. So you could have an elderly person live with you or a family member. You could have someone disabled and they're fortunate enough to live at home. But again, they have special needs to be have to be met. So make sure that you plan for that. Reporting in Randolph County for 12 News, I'm Leah Nicely. In the midst of the opioid crisis, baristas and other service workers could soon become first responders. About half of business managers in New York City say that they have seen drug use in their public bathrooms and 14% had someone overdose. That's why researchers at NYU created a short program to teach workers how to identify and treat an opioid overdose. After the 20 minute training, they were better able to recognize symptoms of an overdose and administer medications to reverse the effects.